Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video we are going to understand one real time scenario. Troubleshooting. Actually we are going to troubleshoot one ticket. So first of all, let me show you the ticket. What is problem here guys? So see, to exchange private network information between branches, engineer configured OSPF1 protocol. So OSPF1 pro process 1 is running on tunnel interface to exchange the private network information between branches. Okay, so ticket is issue is OSPF neighborship is stuck in two way state on tunnel interface. Okay, so this is my problem. Actually, first of all, you have to understand the scenario. So let me make you familiar with this topology first. So guys, see, I have two branch. Suppose this is my site A or my branch A. Site A and this is my, let's say site B. Okay. So these two sites should be able to access internet, should be able to ping 8.8.8. .8. So with the help of netting, these users are able to access internet. No problem. Okay. Now to share the private network information, I have created one IPsec tunnel between router 1 and router number 2. And on the tunnel interface, I am running what? OSPF process 1. So OSPF process 1 neighborship is stuck in 2A state. So this is my troubleshooting here today. We will troubleshoot that why OSPF neighborship is not moving from here. Okay, so because OSPF neighborship is stuck in two-way state, routers are not able to exchange the private network information. So that's why if you will check the routing table of router 1, first of all, let me show you that these users are able to ping 8.8.8 .8 or not, internet or not, 8.8.8 .8 and source is E3 slash 0. I am pinging 8.8.8 .8 from LAN interface. So you can see success rate is 100%. Yes, I am able to access internet. My LAN user are able to access internet. In branch B also, ping 8.8.8.8 and source is E3 slash 0. Yes, here also my all branch user are able to access internet. Now I am going to show you the routing table of router 1. So IP root. So you can see 192.168.20.0 network is not over here, right? So that's why this branch user cannot communicate with this branch user. Yes or no? Because here in the routing table of router 1, this network should be available. In the same way in the routing table of router 2, this network should be available. Then only this user can communicate with each other. So this is my problem. Let me check my OSPF neighborship so ip ospf neighbor yes exactly neighborship is stuck in two way state so that's why i am not able to ping 192.168.20.1 from which interface from my lan interface that is e 0 slash 3 slash 0 yes you can see destination is unreachable because root is not available so now let's begin the troubleshooting. First of all guys, you will check what tunnel interface configuration. So run interface tunnel 1. Okay, so on tunnel interface, I am running what IP address over here? 1.1.1.1 and submit mask is this one. Fine. IP OSPF network type is broadcast. So this is problem. On tunnel interface, you can see here I have point to point link yes or no I have created point to point what point to point uh, link between route between side 1 and side 2 so network type should be point to point on this interface not broadcast okay fine if network type is broadcast then also OSPF should form neighborship yes or no so let me check other things Okay, so later on we will change this network type as well on tunnel interface. Here network type should be point to point. After that, IP OSPF priority is zero. Okay, so this is the main problem guys. Why OSPF neighborship is stuck in two-way state. On a broadcast link, DR and BDR election will happen. And if you don't want to participate a router in DR and BDR election, then, then you will configure what? IP OSPF priority zero. 
so this router will actually not participate in dr and bdr election but on a broadcast network dr and bdr is required yes or no so network type is broadcast so in two way state dr and bdr election will happen but this router this router will not participate in dr and bdr election so definitely never see bill stuck in two way state okay after that tunnel source is 101.1.1 okay it is right tunnel destination is 101.1.1 okay so let me check that i am able to ping tunnel destination 101.1.1.1 yes i am able to ping am i able to ping the remote tunnel so what is the ip address of remote tunnel guys so run interface so run interface tunnel 1 here also engineer have configure what ip usp of priority 0 and network type broadcast so i think engineer does not have knowledge that on a broadcast network if you don't want to perform dr and vdr election you need to change network type you cannot set priority 0 there otherwise never see bill definitely stuck in two way state okay and tunnel this remote tunnel ip address is this one so i am going to ping the remote tunnel ip address from router one first ping ping 1.1.1.2 yes i am able to ping my remote tunnel okay so now first of all what i am going to do so ip ospf neighbor here also you can see priority is zero so first of all i am going to configure default priority default priority of ospf is one on our interface so let me set that interface tunnel one ip ospf priority one over here and let me do same thing on router number two also interface tunnel one ip ospf and now you can see never see has come in which state in full state ip ospf process id one sorry ip ospf priority one over here now so ip ospf neighbor now you can see neighborship is in full state but still here we need to configure what network type point to point so let me change that also otherwise what will happen here dr and bdr is not required yes or no between order one and order two there is only one adjacency so dr and bdr is used to reduce the number of adjacency so here network type should be point to point let me configure that also if you will not change no worry there, nothing will happen then also it will work but unnecessary in the database you will see lsa2 so ip ospf database and this is my branch edge router guys here we need to reduce the database yes or no the network lsa is not required yes or no so that's why i need to change network type over here interface f not f tunnel interface tunnel one and say network type is ip ospf network type yes point to point now so ip ospf database still lsa2 is there because of router1 so on router number 1 also i am going to change ip ospf network type point to point now so ip ospf neighbor first so neighborship is full right priority over here is zero so ip ospf neighbor just wait guys why priority is zero over here because we have set network type what point to point now here so ip ospf neighbor priority over here is also what zero neighborship state is full and there is no any concept of dr and bdr now because here network type is what point to point now if you want to verify so run so run interface tunnel one you can see network type is point to point yes or no okay so ip osp of database now you can see the database also there is only lsa1 so you have remove lsa2 it's fine perfect now let me check the routing table of router1 router is receiving so ip root 
20.0 so what is saying network not in table a still router is not receiving 192.168.20.0 now i need to check what ospf configuration so ip protocol so ip protocol okay we are running router ospf1 and we are performing routing only for this network right so that means there is ospf membership now we need to advertise my lan network my private network in ospf so that ospf can share that network through tunnel interface so let me do that also guys a router ospf process id is 1 and network here i need to advertise which network 192.168.10.0.0.0.255 and area is 0 in the same way on router number 2 router ospf one network uh, 192.168.20.0.0.255 and area is nothing but zero okay and so ip route 192.168.10.0 so now you can see this network is in table and this is reachable via 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 okay so on router number one also if you want to verify now so ip root 192.168.20.0 so you can see this is reachable via 1.1.1.1 exit interface for this network is what guys tunnel 1 yes or no tunnel 1 done so now let me check that branches are able to communicate with each other or not 192.168.20.1 and source is 192.168.20.1 so so IP interface brief what IP address I am running on LAN 10.10 .10 on router number 2 so IP interface brief on router number 2 also 10.20.10 .10. so let me ping again so it will be destination is 20.10 and source is 10.10 .10. so yes now you can see branches are able to communicate with each other securely okay guys so this was a small troubleshooting of ospf if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button guys if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel and if you want notification whenever i will upload next video please click on bell icon as well so that you will get notified whenever i will upload next video like this thank you thanks for watching we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye